It's Patrick and Pals, and Jim is on his way with this differential. Jim, let's take a look at the differential itself and the gears. Show me what the, where the wear is on these gears. Well, you can't really see it when it was in there, but if this is where the this is the pinion bearing, right? And this runs right here on this what's called the carrier bearing. That's what turns the this one. This turns it turns that which your axles go in and it turns the rear end. Right. What was happening, somebody had put, assembled this thing and had everything pushed, everything so out of tolerance where it was so tight, we couldn't even turn it. Okay. And what it, what happened is, it if I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's got some chips on these edges and they're sharp. And, and it's got a little bluing because it got hot from just having all that pressure on it. Well, the chips we really can't see, yeah. but we can definitely see the bluing but, on it. It's hard to see and here you can see too. It on the ring gear. Yeah, but it's hard to see here too. But if you can see how it's it's not an even smoothness, how it's like stepped looking instead of normal. That's because it's worn down that much from just being so tight on one another. So let's just go through this a little bit and name some of these parts. What's this top bearing? Well, this is this whole assembly right here, which sits inside your differential. This is your main. This is what makes everything work. They call this the carrier. This is a carrier. Yep. Okay. So when they say you need a new carrier, this is what they're yeah, talking about. This is about. a carrier. This one happens to have a, a limited slip or posi track. So folks, if you look inside, we've got gears, top, bottom, and sides. Yeah, these are called spider gears. Okay. Now on the posi, on this positive traction or, or limited slip, you see that this is a spring which presses up against them because on the other side of these gears is is a uh, little clutch like little clutch disc like little clutch materials okay. on each side okay so that causes it to where it's always got pressure on there so it's what when your axles go in it causes both wheels to turn at the exact same time now if it was a, what they call an open differential it would not have those inside well, it, of it. it would have the spiders but it wouldn't have the clutches right and right uh, the little clutch discs and, and the spacers so it, it spin freely so if one wheel spins the other one wouldn't do anything so the difference is with a traction lock or anti-slip differential both wheels turn if you're if you're in a slippery spot if you have an open differential the one that's going to spin is the one that's in the slippery spot. The other one won't be any good getting out. So that's why you need a positive differential, positive traction differential. Yeah. Now, we've got, this is your ring gear right here. Yeah, that's what they call the ring gear. What is this gear behind it? This is an exciter, they call an exciter ring. This is this vehicle's got ABS, analog brakes. Analog brakes on So it uses... This with a magnetic sensor that's on the on the case, which picks up every time that every time that spins past it and tells it the vehicle how fast the rear end spin. So that's why when we've done videos on muscle cars that we've been replacing differentials on, you don't see that exciter ring because they don't have anti-lock brakes. Okay. So then then you've got the carrier, you've got a bearing on both sides. Yep, the carrier bearing. Carrier bearings on both Let's sides. Hold this them hold it into the into the rear rear end. Okay. And then how does this gear, the pinion gear, where does that fit into this whole process? Well, the pinion gear goes in the rear end as well. And it slides in there. And that this is what what'll take the gear what this, which they which they call the yoke, and that on the outside and that is what drives your drive shaft to it. So when you're so when you're looking at this, folks, these are your axles coming out yeah, on both sides. Will be both sides, and then your yeah, pinion bearing goes toward the front, goes towards the transmission and the drive shaft. The drive shaft hooks up to it. So you've got a pinion gear, which is right yeah. here, and you've got a ring gear, which is right here. Everything has to work together. Everything has to have a certain tolerance in order to work. And everything has to work together. If you've got a differential that needs a new carrier or needs a new ring and pinion, bring it to pass. See you soon.